Okie dokies, artichokies, let's get started. So we are going to be doing the last problem from the lesson today. So before we get started, say hi to Seth. He's a mini squishmallow. He's cute. This problem, I am sure that a lot of you looked at and went, oh, no. No, it's got exponents. It has to do property. It's the grossest thing I've ever seen. And yes, it's not very pretty, but we're going to work through how to do it today. So in this problem, they asked us to solve for y. So my goal is to get this guy all by himself. Now it's actually remarkably easy to do. Um, at least it's easy to get all four y's isolated. Then just getting one y is the tricky part. So let's get started with our line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract x squared from both sides. Because I want to get this guy all by themselves, and this is the only thing that's bothering them, so that's a zero. Seth, you are in the way. I'm sorry. You're cute and fluffy, but you need to go over here. Maybe go here. There. Cute, Seth. And the cool part about this problem is that this also goes away, which means that I'm only left with this part. So exponents, gone. Automatically very, or a much nicer problem. Wouldn't say very nice problem, but much nicer problem. So let's do purple next. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have to do distributive property, but to make your life a little easier, I would recommend simplifying this inside first. <gasps> Got purple on Seth. No, Seth. Oh, that's so sad. Oh no, what am I going to do? Anyway. Now we're over the heartbreak. We're going to simplify the inside. So what I have here is I have a negative x and then three positive x's. So if I simplify the inside, so the two on the outside, but I'll have three x minus x, which leaves me with just two x minus six remaining. Let's do red for the next part. Color code this. Okay. So you'll see that this side is mostly staying the same the whole time. It's going to stay the same for another one. Because now we have to do distributive property. So if you don't remember distributive property is when I distribute the multiply 2 to each piece in the parentheses. So 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. I'd really recommend doing these arrows, especially doing them as you do things, because it kind of keeps you on track and keeps you accountable so that you know that you did both pieces. Very important, have to do both pieces. Okay, so we did distributive property. Let's see if that will be not used. Blue! So our very last step is to divide. So we're gonna divide everything by four. Those fours go away, we're left with y equals, four divided by four is one, just like we found out here. So, dead. And then 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our end answer ends up being y equals x minus 3. And then if we go through and we look at the growth on this, the growth is equal to 1 because there is this invisible 1 next to the x here. And the growth here is, or not the growth, sorry, the beginning, so the y-intercept is at negative 3. So if I was on a graph, that means my line would cross at about negative 3. And this would mean that my growth triangle is 1 by 1. So over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And that's how you do that problem. Hopefully this wasn't too difficult for you. If it was, like I said, Google it. Uh, go find a friend, come ask me in person or in online, however we are when we do this lesson. Let me help you. I love doing these problems and I don't want you to get lost. So please ask for assistance. Thank you very much. You may go now. I will see you next video.